Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. There are four types of transformations, three of which are isometries. One of these is a translation. So a translation is an isometry that slides or moves all of the points on a figure in the same direction. So let's say I gave names to my three vertices in this triangle. Let's call this A, B, and C. So notice, if I go in a clockwise direction, after A follows B, after B follows C, after C follows A. When I translate this, that orientation is going to stay the same. We're still going to have A then B, B then C, and C then A. But how do we describe a translation to other mathematicians? Well, to do that, we're going to write an expression kind of like this, which says, the original coordinates, whatever they are, x and y, are being mapped onto a new image. So this tells me to take every x-coordinate of this triangle and add 1 to it. it. Tells me to take every y-coordinate of this triangle and subtract 2. So you're going to use this rule to find which way you're going to translate. When you're adding to an x, you're going to be shifting your figure to the right. When you're subtracting from x, you're going to shift your figure to the left. When y is being added to, you're going to shift your figure up. And when y is being subtracted, it'll shift your figure down. So keep that in mind when you have problems that are asking you to translate an image. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be dealing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. 